Hey everyone, Andre here, and I've made a big mistake. I looked at the comment section. I know, they tell you never to look at it, but I couldn't help myself, and I did it. And I deeply, deeply regret it. It was for a video I made about how Amiibo work in Kirby in the Forgotten Land, since I have a full copy of the game and people wanted to know what they did. Which just ended up being awarding you a bunch of health items or power-ups. And the comments were going great, until I stumbled across one by a certain Andu, who asked, If you have it, what does the QB Amiibo do? That one is listed as having some kind of special compatibility with the game being a HAL character. Wait a second. Who the hell is QB and he has an Amiibo? Okay, so it turns out that QB, if I'm saying that right, is just the name of the main character from Box Boy, which I liked a lot. But hold up a second. Since when did he have an Amiibo? I own pretty much every Amiibo ever made. How did I miss one? So I did some digging. And it turns out that the QB Amiibo was never released in North America. In fact, it was never released anywhere except in Japan where it's known as Hako Boy, assuming I pronounced that correctly, which I probably didn't. And even in Japan, it's incredibly rare, having had only a single production run. But those words kept echoing in my head. What does the QB Amiibo do? I had to find out. And this led me down a dark path. To Amazon.com. So I tried searching for it using both the words QB Amiibo and Hako Amiibo. And nothing turned up. Except for one result. Yep, one person actually did import the Amiibo and put it up for sale on Amazon. For 500 freaking dollars! Yeah, f*** that. But I just couldn't get that question out of my head. What does the QB Amiibo do? 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 See? And it was keeping me awake at night. So I went back to Amazon.com and tried searching again. But this time it was sold out. I missed my chance. What fool managed to buy it before me? But then all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. It was an Amazon delivery driver, and that's when it hit me. I ordered it the first time! And here the lovely boy is. It's a bit of a shame that I have to open the box in order to actually make use of it, but hey, if that's what it takes, let's go ahead and do that. Now let's take one last look at it in its fully encased form before I potentially destroy this box forever, though I'm gonna try my best not to, perhaps for the first time ever. Because again, unfortunately, you can't scan Amiibo while it's in the box, there's like a little aluminum foil beneath it that prevents that from happening, so <laughs> we have to break it open, and oh my god, this pains me to do, because this is such an expensive rare Amiibo. Here we go, alright, fine, oh my god, that, oh, that sucks, I hate everything about this process. Oh, oof. There it is, though. Finally, we've broken it free of its plastic shackles. And we have it. We have our Box Boy uh, QB Amiibo. There we go. Look at it. Uh, isn't it gorgeous? I, I kind of love this thing. Uh, yeah, it's all pointy, rounded, pointy corners. It's great. So, all right, now we have it. We have it free of its prison, so we can actually try scanning it now in Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And let's see what happens. All right, everyone, it's a moment of truth. It's a thing you've been waiting for. Does the QB Amiibo do anything special in Kirby the Forgotten Land? Now, just as a quick reminder, this is a super rare Amiibo being released only in Japan as a limited production run. In addition, this character, being uh, Box Boy or QB, was also made by HAL, the developers of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is why a lot of people are wondering if it might do something a little bit more special than the typical Amiibo do, the other, like the rest of the Kirby line or anything else in this game, as we showed off in our previous video. So we're about to find out, does this do anything else? All right, here it is. We're gonna do it. We're gonna scan it. Let's see what happens. Wow, what a letdown. That was the exact same result as all the others. Wow, that was disappointing. Why did you let me down, QB? We expected so much of you and you gave us nothing in return or almost nothing. You gave us a little something, but really we expected more from you. So, yeah, I've got no one to blame but myself, and also that freaking comment making me wonder what happens if you scan in a super rare amiibo that was only released in Japan, and was made by the same character or creator as Kirby! Oh, well, everyone, there you have it. That is the end result, so if you were thinking about doing the same yourself, don't bother unless you already have it. Complete waste of time and money! So, yeah, hopefully that was a fun little look for you at this. <laughs> um, hopefully my pain brings you joy. But yeah, that's it. That's a look at what happens here. So now I gotta figure out what the hell to do with this amiibo. Can I resell it and try to recoup my loss? Uh, maybe I'll give it away. Maybe I should hold on to it for other future uh, videos, in which case it may or may not do anything at all or anything special. 
I don't know. Let us know in the comments below what you think of all this. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thanks for <laughs> sticking with us on this weird journey of figuring out what the hell this amiibo does in Kirby the Forgotten Land. And it's nothing impressive. So, with that, thanks for watching, everyone. And of course, stay tuned to Game of Spain for more on Kirby the Forgotten Land in the very near future and everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye, everyone. Can't believe it. I can't believe you. Can't believe you did that to me. You embarrassed me, QB. How dare you?